Hey guys, I'm that nerd with the hair, and this is To The Moon! Whatever part this is... Three? Four? I don't know. We are just going to jump right into it and see where we left off. We received a note for River. Let's see what that is. A song Johnny wrote for his deceased, for his deceased wife. Its title is a placeholder. So this song that we've been hearing throughout the whole game is a song that he wrote for her. The Emperor's New Clothes. Okay, so right now we're going around trying to find different uh, memories to use to power up our time thing. That was explained in the last episode. Alright, so I think that's it for this room. A pot of mixed dough. That's another memory. We just need two more. A glass bottle of pickled olives. All right. Someone really likes these. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's just no way. Who's Nicholas? What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age, age of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you. So this is the least I can do. House. So in the last episode, um, I don't remember a whole lot. It's it's a bit hard to remember. She She is ill. She's dying. And she doesn't want him to keep using all, all of his money, all of their money, to make her better. So she's basically saying, stop spending money on me, I'm okay with dying. Now we just need to find... Oh, there it is! Now we're putting all of the orbs into... I don't really know how this works. Into this time thing, so that we can travel even further back. Hair. <clears throat> right, we have to do this weird game thing. <laughs> oh, this is... This is a thing. I do not like these. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> those games, those games are like... It's basically like a Rubik's Cube where you really just keep messing with it until something happens. And like, you almost get it, and then you realize that you are so far off. All right, activate. All right, so we are still around where he is an older, an older man. Look what we have here. Ah. I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. So there so now we're at a time where the house isn't even fully built yet. Oh, there he is. Let's go talk to him. And that's Nicholas, is it? No, that's Isabel, okay. Nick called and said I should come. <clears throat> I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills... We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... 
You don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have barely been getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm... I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. <clears throat> Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. Is it a music box? He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. So this is when she was first diagnosed. And at the time, they thought that everything was going to be okay. With her, like that she was going to survive. I kind of wonder if this is um, his sister or something. Just because of... I don't know. The fact that he called her Izzy said, I hate when you call me that. Okay, so now we need to go around and find more mementos. More memories for this, for this machine. Whoa, I didn't even click the truck. <laughs> this definitely has a very like dramatic story to it. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't think so just by looking at it. Okay, so I don't have to just click on memory links. I, it said memory links can also be acquired just with exploration. So walking into this half built house, we require we acquired a, mem a memento and the same with the truck we just walked by it and collected it okay so we need two more probably gonna be up where johnny is oh we got we collected both can we go through here i guess not johnny and five and now we can travel okay one of these dang things again all right, there we go. Pickled olives. <laughs> I wonder if now we can, like before we travel, if we can go talk to Johnny. Not talk to him. We're not actually supposed to. Nope. So I guess that was it for this mem memory. That was actually a short one. So we will go ahead and travel. Received a note, pickled olives. Johnny's favorite. That's the note. All right. And we are going even further back. Okay, so he's still an older man. This looks like Nick and Isabel. And he, uh, they're at dinner, maybe, with uh, Johnny and River. I forgot her name for a second. <laughs> so many people. So you guys are really going for it, huh? 
Yup, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful, having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that's special about it. Do tell. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and, congra and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Does he still have pickled olives with him? Be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. <coughs> Me too. The women's voices are just the same. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river, still so quiet, huh? Ugh, she's actually been talkative at home, and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. So I'm the bad guy here, huh? <coughs> oh hey, did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So uh, how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. Uh, but something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. Huh, I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but some something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. This music is ominous. <laughs> And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes, she said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably? I'm always right, John. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. So we are Dr. Watts? Hey there, could I get you anything? Hey yo, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? <laughs> sure, cash or credit. Check. That's a weird way to spell check. <laughs> er, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. <laughs> hey there, can I get you anything? Hello, can I get a bottle of pickled olives please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. 
Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Here are your pickled olives. Oh, jeez. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. <laughs> oh, loosen up. Oh, jeez. He is my favorite. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow, a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation, now! Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. <laughs> I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh! <laughs> you okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time. We got two bottles left. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, I, so I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. <laughs> and you know what else is wrong with society today? <laughs> yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze! <laughs> Finally! Dear Lord! How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> Alright. Wait, don't you dare! Don't worry, sheesh. Let's move on. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Or weren't they? I don't really, I don't know. Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. So Anya is the lighthouse. The abandoned lighthouse by the cliffside. Oh, there they are again. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, come back! Hey, come back! I'm following you! What the heck? <laughs> I guess that was just another version of the memory cell- their memory selves. Alright, now we've got all five of our memories and we just need a memento. Which could very well be this! I don't know how this happened. This is like the worst position it can be put in. Can't do diagonal that way. Oh, <sighs> jeez, that one took forever. Yes, we are ready to go. No more, nowhere else to explore. <clears throat> River? Okay, we are going to follow him. Where is River? Where could she be? An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? 
Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. <laughs> Not really. You can't even get it through its door. Hmm, true. <laughs> well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. <laughs> They're both fans of Doctor Who. That's cute. New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh. I think I know where this is going. Ooh. Music got dark again. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Uh, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River. I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. I want to know what her condition is. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just... Let's just get what we're paid for over with. <clears throat> Ugh, there's so much mystery to this game! I want to know, they seem to suspect something about her. I don't even know what her condition is. Many long strands of orange hair. Did she cut her hair herself? Platypus! Alright, we need one more memento. I guess that would be her. So this is the day she started it, huh? Okay, so we are done with this memory. We're moving through memories a lot faster than we were before. Aha, there we go. I can't tell if I'm getting better at those or if I'm getting luckier. All right, activate. The platypus is in the middle, in the car, I guess. Got a memento. Just need four more. The music stopped. What does it mean? This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? <laughs> Acrophobia. Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. <laughs> I'm assuming that is a fear of heights. Is the lighthouse there, I wonder? I guess it would be, wouldn't it? And it's not all boarded up. It's still in use. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's... it's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. 
I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Right. Uh, they were talking about something that he was supposed to tell her, and she took it well. So maybe we'll find out what that is. Something about their first meeting? What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? Phew! River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I'm very confused. <laughs> I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Alright, we got five memories here. And going back down to find... The platypus is probably the memento again. I don't know. I just have so many questions about what's going on, and I, and they're slowly getting answered, but that's... <laughs> and that's good, but, like, jeez, I'm so curious about everything. Okay, so maybe the car isn't the memento? Um, let's keep walking around then until we can find it. It's really easy to get stuck between these bushes and plants. Because it's hard to see... They, they don't look like that they would be something you can run into. <laughs> they look like something that, like the grass where you can just like walk over it. Or this. Why am I not running into that? What is that? <laughs> okay, we didn't come over here, so the memento could be over here? Maybe? Or not? If we can get to the lighthouse, I kind of wonder if the hacky sack is the memento. No idea where she's going. Apparently I can walk on this! <laughs> I honestly didn't know that I could walk on this. Well, that was a happy accident to discover. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I'm supposed to walk on this, because now I'm... What the heck? That might have been an accident. Wow. Okay. Let's just, uh... <laughs> Let's just get back up here. Okay, this is exactly where we were before. We walked all over the place to find the memento that was right under our noses. I can't believe that. What is it? Um, prepare. Guess we'll find out what it is. A backpack, I think? Yeah, it looks like a backpack. Boop. 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 That one was extremely easy. Why can't they all be that easy? Alright, who is this? Everyone with it is different, John. Maybe we'll finally find out what her condition is. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate is a different story. Articulate it. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? 
Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. Oh, there she is. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity and pity River. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then, I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. So, Isabel has whatever River has, but we still don't know what that is. Huh, I've never met a woman with it before. With what? Then technically you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. I'm really curious to figure out... And we're learning more and more as we go by, as we go further back in the past, but I'm just really curious to figure out what River has. The feel that I get is maybe that she has um, autism. That's the only thing I can think. The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Oh, that was a uh, memory, okay. Even though we didn't remember who that was. <laughs> Anything new today? No. <coughs> What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. Oh, we would know that book. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs series. Hey! <laughs> I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading? What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. Yeah, you tell him, River. I think I'm going to get this one. Got another memory? Hmm. 
Yeah, see, what she... The way she acts and the way they talk about her, <clears throat> it just reminds me a lot about autism, except that I don't know a crazy... I don't know a whole lot about... Oh. He's everywhere! I don't know a whole lot about autism, but... I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my Auntie Valentine. Hey, River! This one's not that corny! Huh? <laughs> River? But I didn't think autism was something that could eventually kill you. So, I guess... I mean, I could be wrong, I don't know. But what about David's? He's my favorite character! Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh! Oh! Do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um... Oh! Uh, okay, so what is... Uh, I mean, I didn't read Animorphs. It's... It's five letters. An animal. Um... T tiger. Tiger. That's... That's an animal with five letters. Yeah. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find it out for you. Dang. We gotta find this out, guys. This is critical to our mission. Whoa. How'd you get over there? Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, Gorilla, David, Cobra, Cassie, Wolf. Why? So there was a tiger in there. I knew there was a tiger. I just got the wrong person. So the actual answer is Cobra. Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. <laughs> I forget that because we're going back in time, I assume that it's back in time as in like... Uh, back in time like our back in time so that they wouldn't have Google and stuff like that. But I guess their past is our present. Oh yeah! A cobra! I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those are cool! Okay, so what else do we do here? We just need the memento. Oh, there it is! Alright, just putting all our memories in the memento here, and then we can time travel! Doing another one of these things that I hate ever so much. Ugh, finally! I seriously hate those things so much. That's the one downside to this game. I get that games need puzzles, but come on! <gasps> oh, excuse me. Okay. Oh, everyone's leaving already? But I just got here! So it looks like... So we're at some party. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and save right here. We have reached another point in Johnny's life. He is even younger now in his memories. And so with that, I am going to leave that episode right here. If you're still watching this, thanks so much for sticking around. Remember to like, comment down below, and boop that subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. And until next time, have fun, guys. Whatever it is. You gotta, you gotta do that. <laughs>